Hello. We are back. Actual play. Agon RPG. Fun times. Uh, I I am John. I'm one of the designers of this game. And playing Adrastos, the increasingly wrongly epithetted Adrastos. We'd have to come up with a better... <laughs> the swift footed is not... Yeah, maybe not. I'm mighty thirsty. Yeah, we it, we haven't found the perfect thing yet. Swift the footed first. is just way too traditional. Um, yeah. Well oiled, I thought might be pretty good, but yeah. uh, <laughs> not just says no. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for joining us again, chat and and YouTube and everybody. Uh, we're excited to get back into more more mythic heroic action. Um, which is what I've been working on since the last time you saw us. I've been working on this game. Uh, yeah. And we've got we've got a few tweaks to tell you about tonight. We've tweaked a couple rules. We'll go into that probably before we start. But um, yeah, that's what I've been doing mainly. Uh, I, <laughs> I was talking to Allison the other day and I was like, what did you do? She's like, oh, I worked on my game thing for, I made all this progress, da 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 What did you do? I was like, I changed the size of stuff on the Agon character sheet by an eighth of an inch in various <laughs> dimensions. And made everything fit again. That's that's what I did. It's super important. <laughs> it, it is super important, but <laughs> I I just sat there toggling back and forth between the old and new version. Like this, I I spent this is what I did today, <laughs> watching it go. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> but it's going well. It's going well, and and this this play test is helping a lot. So that's been that's been very good. Nice. What about you, Naja? Uh, I am indeed Nadro Tikor, aka Trista Ray. Uh, I have been, what I even have I done in the past two weeks? I played a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh. Um, and I might be ready to buy Stormblood finally. Like, I don't know how many years it's been since it was released. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's fine. I urge you to stay away um, <laughs> because it will suck you in. Um, so yeah, fishing and Final Fantasy is what I've been doing. Uh, but tonight I'm going to play Clever-Eyed Hagne, um, who also might need a new epithet because she's like big mad now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big mad Hagne. Big that's, mad Hagne. That's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seems, seems um, legit. Yeah, she's uh, really upset lately. Um and has changed, which is fun. And I'm excited to continue on both this odyssey across the ocean and odyssey through like her feelings. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. about harpies in particular. Yeah, yeah, those harpies, uh, yeah, right? Like they're, they weren't easy on you. Pivotal moment in her life. Uh, Karen, what about you? Uh, hello, I'm Karen Twelves. I am K Twelves on Twitter. I have a cold. I've been indoors for far too long because the air quality is very bad. That is that is my life right now. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is rough. I will be playing a uh, war leader, Marika, who um, has just jumped on a boat that was rammed. So it's going to be very exciting to see uh, how many people she can kill before the boat sinks. Yeah. I feel like you've got some time before it sinks. Yeah, no, she's got plenty of time. Yeah, I feel like you definitely have. Yeah, it's all, a race. All the, time, all the time in the world, almost. <laughs> yep. Uh, how about you, Sean? Uh, I'm Sean. I um, Sean Nittner, pretty much everywhere on the internet. I use he, him pronouns. I'm jamming this game, uh, and I'm also working on developing it, John. Um, which is real exciting. Um, I very much enjoy playing this and then sitting around afterward going, this worked, that didn't, let's tweak that. Um, and we have a draft that's in a good shape except for one G chat that John sent me today. He's like, oh, I think we should change the way contests work in this giantly pivotal way. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool, awesome. I agree, and also. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, all the text out and start again. It's, um, not, it's not that bad. It's no, not that it's bad. not. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking hyperbolically. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I have been thinking about Desikaira, the pirate queen and her ship, the wind thief and, uh, which might be an X ship shortly. Um, <laughs> uh, and the pillar of storms, 
um and uh, yeah and and uh excited to, to play again so yeah with that let's jump in and let's do a couple things um one let's recap for ourselves and for everyone in chat what happened and to go over a couple minor rules changes um that uh we will that we'll that we might run into um yeah so who who remembers what y'all did last time what heroic feats you had i remember adrastus and uh inestes inestes i was like it's like the spanish soccer player but it's not <laughs> uh i almost said iniestas but now i can't Close. remember the other name whatever <laughs> inestes uh, <laughs> uh, they titanic on the prow of the boat for a while. Uh, that's Kyra got super mad about it. Uh, we were chasing her, by the way. She's yeah. a pirate queen, by the way. Uh, we were chasing her for the pillar, pillar of the storms, and she got distracted by her ex-boyfriend being on the prow of the ship with the Drastos. And then I hit her boat with our boat. And then uh, Marika jumped over and is... Uh, presumably going to cut that's Kyra's head off. We don't know yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of like we'll pirates see. in between you and her, but also, uh, you know, they're, they're not of name. They, they're not, they, they won't be remembered. Yeah. There was also an interlude. Um, and mostly I remember a lot of oil and I don't want to think about that. Um, <laughs> there was a bath. There was scented. I'll slam that emote again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was very. It was a beautiful evening for everybody. Ch um, Chase Artemis doesn't want to hear about it. I really don't. <laughs> Artemis uh, is not about that. Uh, if anybody wants to give like a more uh, erudite version of what happened, <laughs> that's also great. I I think you covered it. Uh, <laughs> We are we are mid uh, Marka slaughterhouse situation. Um, yeah, I think that's that's where we left it. Yeah. That's a yeah. Kyra, um, the the legendary pirate. Like no one can catch her on the high seas, but turns out, turns out these three heroes three. were able to get it done. Yeah, uh, no one yet. Yeah, no, until now we didn't get <laughs> wrecked like we do with the harpies. We yeah. actually yeah. actually caught up with her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not not quite not uh, worse for wear really either. Um, not too bad. Yeah. Um, and if you are just joining us, uh, she the reason we're chasing her is she stole the pillar of storms, which is this pillar from Hera's temple from this island, uh, and ra ran off with it. Uh, it's got magical powers, and we're. Get, getting we're stealing the thing back and doing something with it doing i think something keeping, with it, it, keeping right. it for ourselves i think was I, the most popular plan i mean the but. gods all have things that they want you to do yeah. with it um okay. and like uh, uh yeah and, and you'll you're all gonna decide what what it is you want to do um not not a well we'll, we'll have fun with it it'll be good so um Cool. Yes. So that's that's where we were. Uh, the few uh, rules changes for for us as players, and also for anyone who's keeping track. Uh, one of them is the way great deeds and trophies work. Um, now imagine that each of your great deeds and trophies have a little checkbox next to them, and they can be used one time uh, as an advantage die, uh, and then you'll check the box, and then that great deed or trophy is still true, but is no longer usable as an advantage. Uh, if you wanted to make that trophy, and, and, the, and the, the spirit of that is that like these things are feet, like they're always true of the characters, but they're featured and pivotal and make a big difference in a conflict in the story, in the poem once, and then they don't keep on reoccurring. Um, but if you do want it to be um, relevant again and usable again, um, you know, we can have a contest to recall the great you know recall your deed or something like that and, and regain that regain its use and uncheck the box so uh but for the most part great deeds and trophies because we do accumulate them at the end of every session are just usable once um the other one is after the roll right now the rule says you spend two divine favor you can afford 
avoid suffering pathos and that's never been done so we're changing that to you can get plus one on the roll um, which isn't big but sometimes you just need a little more and you know you know how many dice that can explode so there's that um and then the last thing we probably run into is we're going to change the order of interludes because last time you're like i'm gonna compete with a big hole in my chest <laughs> and, that, and we were like, yeah, it's we fine. made up some bullshit about why that made sense. And then I was like, you know, we should do healing first. That would just yeah. take that care of that sense. whole issue. <laughs> right. So thank you for being the uh, playtest example that made Fizz <laughs> rethink that, Nadja. Uh, so yeah, now healing comes first. Uh, so you can, you know, patch that hole up before wrestling in front of everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's. That's it as far as things we might see on the surface. Um, some other stuff that we're working on that we'll probably have next time. Uh, cool. I have a question. Yeah, shoot. I have noticed that um, Athena's strength has changed. Mm, oh, you. yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have that as a strength, so it's not mechanically relevant right now, but I did write down the old one on my fake character sheet that I have in this notebook. Yeah. Yeah. We had Athena's strength was wisdom and one of the legendary virtues was wisdom. And our goal is to never have the same word be used for two different things. And wisdom is a very good and important legendary um, uh, virtue. So we didn't, we don't want to, we didn't want to give that up. Uh, and we thought that judgment uh, was still very fitting for Athena. Uh, having good judgment as in knowing Right from wrong, knowing truth from truth from um, uh, from falsehood. fiction, from falsehood. Thank you, and also judging people. I mean, like you, I judge thee <laughs> as 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 guilty. Uh, so it works both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I just rend wanted to rendering check. judgment. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. There's some other little things. The way Glorious Tract is now um, a little bit more. Uh, a little easier to sort of suss out. It's just checkboxes because everything else is just checkboxes. So uh, once you get 60 glory, you'll clear all of them and then check the little ch the 60 glory box and start over again. And we hope you don't hit 121 glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do, that's your that's your problem. <laughs> Figure it out if you do. You just become uh, a god. Yeah, <laughs> you're done. Um, yep. Oh, and one other little thing: we you no longer gain fate for visiting a new island. So that was kind of a like system that just made your heroes eventually burn out no matter what. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't do anything, even challenge gods, if you didn't suffer agony, if you didn't clear your hubris, eventually you would just take fate along the way and realize that we really wanted them to be responses to actions of the heroes rather than, or misfortunes of the heroes even, but. Uh, rather than just something that automatically happens. Because it would suck if your character had 23 fate and you went to a new island. You're like, well, that's there we go. Arrive at the new island and my character's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we could justify it, but yeah, it's not. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't your fit fate in is in your hands now yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Uh, that hasn't come up in the game yet, but it will. Um, yep. So with regards to the great deeds and the trophies, if you know you've used them, you can check them off. If you don't remember whether you've used them, don't worry about it. Leave them unchecked. And when you do use it, you can check it off then. So. I have definitely used Defender of Cryos and the Feather, so I'm checking cool. those, checking those yeah, off. I, I think I used Defender of Cryos, but I have not yet used Outsailed the Pirate Queen. Right. Well, you just got that. Yeah. 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 Nice. I will tell her to sit her slow ass down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, uh, set the scene. You, there's a, there was a whole, there's a whole torrent of wind around you, and the wind is still blowing hard, but it's not storming where you are. It's sort of storming all around you, but the area that you're in, it's not peaceful as in calm, but it's peaceful as in you're not getting whipped by rain and whatnot. That's right on sort of the, pr the periphery of where you are. You broke free of that. Um, so there's still strong winds, and um, your ships are now inter inter interlocked. Your, uh, your, your prow rammed into the hull of, of Thessakyra's 
chip and uh, Marika uh, Marika uh, lands with uh, in the amidst um, a dozen of her pirates um, surrounded. Mm -hmm. uh, Ionesti standing with Adrastos near the prow as well. I think Marika just sort of ran past you for this crazy heroic feat. And Hagne still at the wheel, um, uh, captaining the ship. Cool. Uh, so um, I think we left off with Marika. Let's see what happens there. Um, Marika, 15 pirates all pummel you to the ground, leap on you and knock you down and take your swords. Um, what? Yeah, do you, do you want to object to that? Yes. <laughs> Would you rather not that be the case? Awesome. Cool. Let's have a contest of blood and glory, uh, blood and valor. Cool. <laughs> to stop that from happening. Uh, Are you sure you, you like? don't want to, that to just happen? I mean, <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, what, what would you like to have happen instead? Um, she's gonna. How many are between her and the pirate queen? Uh, I said fifteen, so let's let's say it's fifteen, right? All right. Well, she's just gonna move in that direction. But what do you want to do about the fifteen guys that are all trying to like knock you to the ground and take your swords and tie you up? Well, she's gonna take. I'm <laughs> sick. Chop off swords. It's okay. She's, she's gonna moving in a particular direction with a sword, and she's going to just figure it out. Sounds good. All right. Cool. She's fighting her way towards the pirate queen. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So you want to? Uh, cool. So you'll you'll fight your way through them to the pirate queen. Yes. Um, does anyone else want to join in this contest of um, of uh, fending off the the pirates that would that would subdue Marika? Uh, yes. Yes. Cool. Always. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's have a contest yeah. then. Um, we're all going to join in on it. Uh, let's remember how this works. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the Thessakira's pirates are... Thessakira is technically Thessakira and her pirates. So even though this is not Thessakira, they're still deadly pirates. They they know how to use their um, curved blades and their belaying pins and ropes and chains and... Um, they uh, they all see you as intruders on their ship and want to fend you off. Uh, Thessakira, by the way, is laughing as she finds it hilarious, and she's route she's rooting she's cheering for you, Marika. She's like uh, she's like, don't you know who that is? That's Marika, the war leader. You know, I don't need her help. <laughs> she's not helping you at all. She's 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 waiting to, she's waiting to see uh, how you fare. Um, cool. Uh, all right, so let's roll. I'm gonna roll 1d6 for the GM die, plus 1d8 for the strife die, because Zeus is a is a punk. Uh, plus the Skyra's name die, which is 1d10. Plus um, her blood and valor, which is 1d10. Hmm. Oh, I got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <right>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plus her ferocity, which is one d ten. There's all these ferocious parts, and her pillar of storms she still has, but it's not affecting this right now. Um, so I'm not claiming any advantages that she has. Uh, although she will gain an advantage here of having you subdued if um, if she succeeds. We'll see about that. I, if she if she succeeds, <laughs> that's that's a big if. All right, uh, I got an eight. Um, I totally want you subdued. So let's let's um, make this interesting for everybody. I'm going to spend a divine favor and explode that eight. All right, I'm sitting at a twelve. Oof. Twelve glory to um. To, and at this point, it's all of you, right? You know, they wanted us to do Marika. Everyone else is jumping in the fray. Uh, maybe not Hogday. Maybe you're shooting arrows, something like that. But yeah. whoever's getting on board is subject to this. I am getting on board, and I am running and leaping. I'm trying to get to Thessakira before uh, Marika. I, 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 I want to yeah. be best here because I, I, I have a thing I need to say. 
Yeah, nice. Uh, um, I mean, you are swift footed. Well, as long as you're still swift footed, you might as well try and. I am uh, technically uh, still swift footed. So. <clears throat> we haven't. Uh, great, great. So you are you trying to avoid the fight then? Are you trying to stay out of the? Yeah, like I'll right you know there. I'll kick a guy out of the way and roll between someone's legs and jump over a guy's shoulders and like try to get weave my way through. Um, right. So I'm not being captured, but also I, I right. wanna I wanna Might, intercept Marco. I'm not sure how swashbuckly uh, Adrasus is, but my yeah. anchor. Might also remind you that there's lots of rigging around. Yes. There's sails and things like that. To... I can definitely swing on a rope if if yeah. uh, if necessary. That would be yeah. that would be cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, a, a contest of blood and valor. Uh, you're gonna roll name blood and valor, and then any other strengths you want to bring in. Yeah, my blood and valor is d10, uh, d6 name, and I'm using my daring of d8. Cool. Um. I have a pathos of d6 currently. I'm not going to use that. Uh, it doesn't look like you have anything marked with hubris either. No, I don't. Not at the moment. Cool. All right, here we go. Nope, just a six. All right. Not looking good mm, for nope. Adrastos. All right, um, how about you, Agne? What's it look like? Uh, I have, as you surmise, climbed into the crow's nest. Oh, uh, nice. And I'm drawing my bow, and I want to just pick off all of these pirates. Is there? Sorry, I'm curious. After watching Wonder Woman, I just had this like vision of like people like flying up on ropes. Do you have some crazy counterweight system where like you have a rope attached to a counterweight, and like you fly up to the crow's nest, like something pulls you up there? Really oh yeah, quick? definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, clever. Yeah, right. <laughs> my craft and reason is my best exactly the rest of the crew might have to climb up the nets but i, I imagine hogne just like like yeah being launched up the crow's like nest. noobs <laughs> like noobs <laughs> um but yeah i'm in the crow's nest immediately uh drawing my bow and trying to pick off all these pirates nice. um so i'm rolling my uh name at d6 yep valor at d6 uh, I'm rolling my precision at a D8. And then Excellent. remind me, it's one divine favor to roll your pathos. Yep. Uh, then I will spend that one divine favor and roll my pathos at a D10. Nice. Uh, for what good it may do me while it is. And are you high. and are you aiming to uh, are are you aiming to kill? Or like is this like dudes? <laughs> Taking an arrow in the chest to the throat and falling to the ground, or is this oh, like yeah. I'm okay. I'm shooting to kill uh, so, cool. killer cool. ship, killer crew, then kill her. Yeah, got that's it. That, that's, that's sort literally. of what I thought, but I just didn't want to. I won't be graphic about the description, regardless. But yeah, it's uh, fine. Um, but yeah, no big mad hog name wants to kill. Big mad hog. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see. Mm. Yeah, all I'm right. gonna hold that. You're gonna <laughs> all right. So that's you haven't won yet, but you spent it's a pretty paper. good. I'm yeah. gonna spend another one, and I'm pretty low on it, but that's fine. I have oaths. I mean, it's what it's what you do. And I think being bolstered by you, some some of your crew. There we go. Seventeen. Boom. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think being bolstered by seeing all of you go, like your crew is joining. They don't get to roll or do anything notable, but they're 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 joining you in this. Um, yeah, so folks are falling for sure. Um, and Marika, you wanna? Yeah, I was gonna roll my name, uh, blood and valor, my daring. Can I? Can I get anything for my great deeds? I do have a, a great deed called Face the Pirate Queen's Legions. Yeah. I mean... Possibly yeah. appropriate? <laughs> Seems appropriate. I mean, you got that last time for like yeah. facing for them all off on your own, like laying yeah. down on your own. Yeah. Um, I think it's super appropriate. I think it's, I think it's so appropriate. I think it's D10 appropriate. Nice. I mean, it's... Yeah, I might as well. I mean, you just want it, turn around and smack them with it. Turn around and use it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. So throw that, check that off. Now it's used. You'll always mm -hmm. have it, but it's, you know. And let's see if how the poem is told of you facing their legions. Oof. Uh, Not. Yeah. 
Doesn't look great. So Hogney's in there. All right. Yeah. So you do have the option of spending three divine favor to reroll all your dice. Yeah. Um, you could also spend two to get plus one, but I don't. That wouldn't that help. Would get me nothing. So uh, Adrastos and Marika, who are the two on the ship, are both unsuccessful in making their way to Thesskyra, um, and are are uh, would have been pinned down by her by her by her pirates. Um, you know, cut, cl- cut scraped, clubbed, um, knocked down, tied up, but. Instead, um, Hogney, how do you how do you save the day and gain audience with the pirate queen herself? Yeah, I think it's um, in part of my anachronism. It's like Soldier Seventy Six is alt. Like mm-hmm. have perfect aim, yeah. um, and all of these pirates are just like falling down, like they're raising their swords ready to strike and just like arrow to the neck, falling over. Nice. Um, and it's it's pretty fast um, uh, that they all are just shot down by Hognay. And then yeah. I uh, use that same like uh, pulley system to swing down from the crow's nest and land in front of Thessakaira. Sweet. And in front of Adrastos and Marika. Yep. Yeah. Arrow yeah. knocked. Like, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you totally do it. So uh, you will gain twelve glory. Yeah. Uh, you'll nice. mark hubris in one of the traits that you roll. And uh, Adrastos and Marika, since you both uh, were, were bested, you'll take you'll mark you'll advance your pathos. Um, and um, okay. you are the heir in front. It, it's just like this big mess of. Marika and Adrasto still standing, but definitely having suffered many blows and all these fallen pirates near nearby them. That many of them they defeated, but met, but uh, even more so those with Hogney's arrows, um, uh, standing out of them. And and Thesikira says, "I thought it would have been more war leader Marika to greet me on my ship first, but no, it's clever-eyed Hogney." <clears throat> She who made her way out of the forest of four channels with uh, u- using using the same arrows to guide her way. And um, yeah, I just kind of I'm glaring at her, um, and I say, "You have no crew. You're soon to have no ship. And when we're done with you, you won't have the pillar either. You still want to fight us?" Uh, she, uh, she doesn't seem, uh, I think, I think you make a good, you make a good point. <laughs> she doesn't seem too daunted. Um, and, uh, she says, there's no reason to fight. Uh, yes, you're okay. clearly, you're clearly amazing sailors. You're, in fact, you would take the, you would take the, um, uh, the pillar of storms. It seems to me it makes a pirate of you as well. And if you're a pirate. Then why would you not want to work for the Pirate Queen? Because you sail too slow, as we demonstrated. Because <laughs> we don't work for anyone. Also that. Good point. I mean, let's not be too hasty here. Uh... No, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my hold is empty now because I've already... I've already emptied the gold from which I, which which we stole from that, from uh, which we stole from the island, and now we're returning to, uh, returning to to take more from them still. Why not join me and fill our hull with, with uh, with tales of our adventure and with uh, more gold than we than you can imagine. The mines are rich with them, so much so that one vessel could not hold them all. Hagney, Hagney is like getting increasingly frustrated with this. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, she. Yeah, she's like, hey, let's be friends. Let's yeah. go pirate together, right? And you're like, not about it. I, like, I literally sailed through hell to fight you, and now yeah. you want to fight. Like, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, sidle up yeah. to Hagney and um, pretend like I'm 
recounting Thesakira's virtues to her. Uh-huh. I kind of catch Thesakira's eye like I had before on the ship. Like, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. You, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me let, 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 let me talk some let me talk some sense here. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Th- this, we could we could still be cool. Right. Um, and then I kind of turn my back and under my breath to Hogney, I'm like. I just had an idea. I know. I know it's strange, but I'm, I'm trying a new thing. <laughs> what if we get the Sakaira to go with us to kill the harpies? Mm. Then after that, we can do what we want with her. But if we get her on her on our side, she can think she's the pirate queen if she wants. But extra ship, what's left of her crew, and she seems like a pretty badass. <laughs> person what's left of her ship yes uh what i want is for her to give us a pillar of storms willingly thinking we're allies yeah kill all of the harpies and then then we'll see where we stand reasonable nice and is marika like privy to this as well or is she yeah yeah marika is is hearing it but she's she's got she's got her her um elbows resting on both of her swords and the tips are kind of like in the wood of the yeah nice of the deck and she is looks bored and (laughs) impatient yeah and is very much like when do i swing these right because there is a lot of talking and thesakira doesn't seem to get it yeah that we're not we're not doing this thing that she wants yeah yeah this is also an excellent point yeah so basically (laughs) yeah so Jessica (laughs) calls for an interlude and says let's all rejoice and and relax and uh you know your boat is like has a whole she she seems unfazed by it Mm mm-hmm who who has the least glory right now? Yeah, who has the least glory? I have sixty four. I'm at the bottom. I got forty four. Cool. So, Marika, what do you want to do? Um, that's Kyra is yeah is calling for a uh, for a uh, uh, an interlude where you all relax together. You fix up the ships and you head in to, to head in to go go pillage the island. Well, I mean, pillaging the island is not going to happen. Yep. So I don't think that this interlude is going to happen because Marika oh. doesn't really feel like doing anything on Thesakira's terms. So I say we keep, you know, you're happy to, pi- to pitch the idea of let's go kill the harpies with her. Uh, but I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not relaxing on her ship and, and having a drink with her. Cool. So, uh, do you do you do you propose Adrastus's plan, or, or do you want or do you want to do you want to propose that you ally for this, even though you're perhaps up to false allegiance? I mean, I'll let I'll let somebody else do the talking. Cool. But but, yeah. but you want to go with Adrastus's plan, right? Yeah. If I mean, if that sounds good to to Hogne as well, um, then maybe those sh- two should try to do the talking on it. So the plan, the plan, just so I'm clear, is that we falsely ally with her, mm-hmm. kill harpies. Yeah. Yep. May, maybe not take the pillar right now. She, you know, transport it there and use it against the harpies. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe under a pretext of like the island will be easier to attack if the harpies aren't constantly around. Um and then you know accidents can happen during a battle with your allies and fighting harpies you know something might happen that's a a little underhanded for hogne though well i mean for her what do we need the sakaira for right now nothing we just need the pillar Um, i mean adrastos is is definitely the Mm -hmm. the pillar is tied to the boat yeah it's tied with ropes i mean you could free the pillar You'd need a bunch of people to carry it, but you got a crew. It would be easier to use her to kill the harpies mm-hmm. rather than fight her and then go fight harpies. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if we have the pillar, we also don't need to fight harpies because we have harpy remote control. 
That's true, actually. That that protects so, the island from them anyway. So, yeah. But you still depends I, on whether you want to take the. That's the thing. Is Hogney like no? No matter what, we're gonna go kill harpies, or are you like? I mean, Hogney wants to kill harpies no matter what. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's that's sure. what I thought. Let's yeah. kill some harpies. But right. having the pillar makes it easier to kill harpies. Having the pillar would definitely make it easier to kill harpies. We could we could use it to ground them maybe, which would be a big help. Yeah. All right. So we don't that technically was... need her. So if if Adrastos and Hagne are having this discussion, is Hagne like, I'm not underhanded like that. I just tell it like it is. I'm not gonna be deceitful. Like you do yeah. it, or <laughs> or, yeah. or or we're not gonna let's right. just be straight with her. Like what's your what's your She's, angle? Her Hagne's tech is I don't I don't wanna be deceitful in service of avoiding a worthy foe. I Yeah, that's I, a good point. I want to box her. Um, yeah. Just for her own merit. And I think, like, you're kind of doing this. You're all, like, talking. And yeah. she's doing the same thing. And you see, like, another 30 sailors, like, pop out from under the hold. And they're, like, fixing the ship. You're like, oh, I killed your crew. And you're like, she's like, no, you didn't. Um, you know, a whole bunch more just sort of appear out of the scene right, stage right um, on, on the ship. And they're they're, like kind of murmuring there like they're like oh no let's take you know they're kind of like it there's there's these two sides each like huddling as you as you do this let's let's fight <laughs> sure. it's my personal yeah uh, i think marika has the call unless someone yeah. wants to spend an oath with her to take it I, I made my play. If Hogney says let's fight and Monica agrees, I'm not going to push it any further. So I'm not going to contest over that. Let's fight. All right. Cool. Uh, I guess I turn around after we are having our little conference. I turn around. I look at Thessakira and I'm like, I did try. <laughs> and I, I take my spear off my back. <laughs> like, like, and I like raise my knocked arrow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Thessakira says, uh, that's what the dryads said. That's what the dryads of the magic forest said as well. Um, and uh, she seems interested. Like, hey, that would have been, could have been fun. Um, and you know. I mean, you won the contest earlier to get her, catch her eye. You, it's, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it succeeded, but. Um, Sometimes, you know, a battle can be a good way to start. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll yeah. turn super deadly. Maybe it won't. Maybe, right. maybe yeah. we'll Excellent. Excellent. maybe we'll bond. Who knows? Cool. Who knows? Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh Marika, how do you announce? How do you announce the uh, the battle? You just charge forward with your swords. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> just stab uh, a dude. <laughs> yeah, she. Had, you know, she was kind of leaning on both swords, and she stands up. She picks them up, and and just starts going. Awesome. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think. I haven't thought about this before. What? Let's, let's contemplate for a moment. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, Zakira uses a um, a small shield that is mounted to her mounted to her wrist, sort of a uh, a triangular, but with a, a triangular shield that has a spike at the end of it and mounted to her arm and uh and um uh and a sword in the other hand and yeah and, and she is like as you charge forward and you know brush right past the first first pirate your your blades lock and uh we and we will enter battle um we're getting close to break so we'll probably s like get battle set up and then uh, but let's Let's do it. Uh, all your, you got all your crew helping. She's got all her crew coming at you, and we have the the the, the various sides coll coll colliding, and people are swinging on ropes, and boats are sinking. Uh, it's good times. So just to be c clear, ish here, our it's not my call. I I think we've already said, but I just want to be explicit. Um, we are the ter the terms of the battle here is we're going to defeat the Sakaira and take possession of the pillar. Yep. Yeah. Is that That's the idea versus why. her defeating us, keeping the pillar, and us being at her mercy in some way? Yep. Is that is that fair? Okay. 
We're not yeah. just like fighting to steal the pillar and take off. We're actually gonna. You actually want to defeat, defeat her in battle part. is what we're trying right. to. Yeah. Do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you just wanted to take the pillar, we probably wouldn't do it as a battle, honestly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, we would handle it as maybe a contest or possibly two. I don't know. Oops. Depending. On, yeah. I, I and mean, then, if and she surrenders and... as our prisoner, then yeah, yeah, sure, maybe then we'll you know we'll tie her to the mast and take her with us. But yeah, okay, cool. Yep, awesome. Uh, and I think like as you like run into each other, like somehow your various crews get in front of one in front of you, and so each side sort of has the opportunity to do awesome things of you know fighting three guys at once, wrapping a rope around somebody and flinging them over the, the and flinging them over the bow, the, the edge. And there's all these sort of rad cool moves before your blades lock with, with each other with worthy foes. Um, yeah. John, you want to move us over to battle? Uh, yes, you, you will have to move yourself because you're a GM. Yeah. But, uh, I'm on it. Everyone should be there. Mm -hmm. Um, Karen, I assume, based on what you said, Marka is action. Yep. Okay. Um, hmm. Torn. What's, what's Hogne doing, Naja? Do you know? Um, all of all, our two crews are fighting each other. Mm -hmm. I there... mean, you could, you could ask them not to, but like that's, that's the, the vibe that's I got. On. So yeah. it's just us three versus Thessa Kyra, essentially. Uh, and her pirates. Yeah. And her pirates. Okay. Her pirates are sort of, they all fight uh, under her banner, right? Like right. they're they're savage and deadly while she leads them. As soon as she's defeated, they're regular people. Uh, right. But in the moment, uh, you watched both Marika and uh, Adrastos be tangled up caught they were outnumbered 10 to 1 but still mm -hmm. you watch these you watch these pirates um um pose real real substantive threats and now there's twice as many as there were i think hagne is going to i think it's a maneuver she is going to uh stop anyone from any anybody besides tessakaira from getting involved in this uh, like she doesn't want a pirate coming up and trying to shank Marika in the back. Cool. Uh, so she's kind of establishing a perimeter with her arrows. Awesome. Cool. Like what part of Duel to the Death do you scrubs not understand? Stay away. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, cool. Then I will do some swashbuckling action also. Yeah. Um. And uh, notably, Thessakaira is in addition to you know facing you in battle she's also the captain of the ship and she calls out to her helmsman to to catch the wind catch the wind and the um your both your ships uh almost as though if magic the wind the wind um uh the wind catches your sail and your the ship tat uh, the ship kill kills over hard in the opposite direction of where the um of where the the hole in is is so it sort of kills opposite so that the water is not still sort of going in that going in that side and everything's at a 45 degree angle like it's tacked really hard and she's not and people are who weren't ready for it are, are floundering down and she seems to be very uh well uh she seems to be unfazed by this uh, by this extreme change in the weather uh, as in she is using the pillar of storms to her advantage in this fight yes of course of course she is yeah oh yeah rude yeah i know it's Super like pirates rude. don't even believe in honor or something <laughs> how dare she mm. all right all right uh everyone's chosen their actions cool so yeah. we're gonna start with maneuver um hogne you are uh trying to keep everybody from being ambushed and pick off yeah. foes awesome. i'm i'm keeping an eye on the big picture of the battle and cool. keeping anyone from interfering yeah and uh, Thessakaira is Thessakaira has already you you noticed that like a few of her pirates are trying to make their way onto your ship to sabotage it as well um hmm. they're not just defending themselves they're already trying to like mess with your own folks so so, um, you know, you, you because you're take, sort of taking this big picture of you, you can see 
um, you can see that happening and put it, and stop it. Uh, so let's roll her stuff. So you know your target. I'm going to roll 1d6 plus 1d8 plus, I'm pretty sure it's 3d10. Um, now I'm gonna roll her daring, her resolve and spirit. Uh, blood and valor. And her name. Sorry, blood and valor, her daring and her name. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna roll her her advantage die in this one. Um, because it's not affecting you as much. You're you're still. Oh no, you're you are on the ship. You are. Yeah. Did you did you like fly back to your own? No, you're still you're still on the ship and. Yeah, I'm prob I probably like not on the end of the ship where everyone's in melee. I've probably right. backed up a bit, but I haven't gone back to our own ship. No. Okay. Uh, then I'm including it. It's affecting you as well. Because uh, you you may be getting knocked around. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how she does. All right, I got a seven. And there's a six that I can explode, but I'm I'm okay with leaving it at the seven. You have more okay. divine favor than I do, so. Um, rolling something with hubris marked gives you a point of faith. Pathos. Pathos. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that then. Um, so I am rolling my name at a d6, my blood and valor at a d6, and my precision at a d8. Cool. And which will advance my pathos to d12. All right. That does mark fate. Once your pathos, once you get agony, you you advance your fate. Okay, by one point. By one point. Yep. Okay, so now I'm at eleven fate. Cool. Uh, are you going to spend a divine favor to roll that d12 pathos die? Uh, not on this. Okay. I've only got two left, so not on this. No worries. Uh, but I will probably end up using it later. Yeah. No. No good. Okay. Um, so you are, uh, distracted by seeing, um, her crew who seem to be very good at sabotaging other ships, almost like they cut all the sails of the ships in the island. Um, and, uh, you're, you, um, uh, you can't direct the foes because you're too bu you're too busy fighting them off and trying to mm. prevent them from wrecking your ship. A few arrows land and and like one like halts, but then another one runs right past them and and you see them getting on there with these short curved blades trying to saw at the ropes mm. and whatnot. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, moment of action. Uh, thinking everything's on her favor, Thessica dives into battle with with Marika because Marika charged forward. Yay. And yeah, you cla clash Sweet. swords. Uh, you know, she wants to disarm you and stick her sword through your shoulder and pin you to the deck. Um, let's roll for that, I guess. Uh, okay. I'm gonna roll the same pool. I technically have the advantage die, but um, I can't use more than one advantage. And I've already described using the, the pillar of, um, of storms. Um, so I will just note that that like a huge uh, a burst of seawater, uh, a, a huge spray of seawater splashes into you. It comes over the deck and splashes into both of you. And she like, slides across it on the deck. Like it, like it lands perfectly on the deck. She slides across it to get right, right up and close. Uh, moves faster than, than you would expect. Mm. Um, seemingly not trying to harm Adrastos. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, I got a oh, 10, and Oof. I'm just going to find favor on that. Oh, why? Because <laughs> she's a badass, and we will see I, right I now. I know. Uh, all right. There it is. Well, um, that went as well as it could have, basically. Yeah, so I got a 12. I could explode that first six. Um, she also hit on that, the GM die, but does the see, odds of that going over 12 seem very low. Well, yeah. they're one in six. They so are. I will mark off her divine favor and the total is 12. Okay, I'm gonna roll my name die, um, blood and valor, daring again, and I'm gonna, 
Sorry, I forgot a thing. Uh, Nadja, when you fail that role, you have to suffer pathos, which since you can't, that means you take another fate. Sorry, go on, Karen. Apologize. Uh, I'm going to spend divine favor to spend uh, my pathos. So cool. a D10. Nice. Nope. Nope. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to step this. in. Is this and... another session where none of us roll well? It could be. <laughs> could be. Is this happening? Harpy. Seems to go every other. Last Harpy session, time. I was rolling like oh. fours, and you guys were just creaming me uh, in the chase. Was that last time? Yeah. Yeah. You really brutalized yeah. me. I couldn't roll anything. Mm. Uh, you so, guys caught that sky with nothing. She, Thesskyra, uh, knocks aside Marika's blows, aimed for her, her neck, uh, and um, shoves her with her shield and goes to pin her with her sword, and um, Adrastos uh, plants his spear in the deck and vaults over a couple pirates at nice. the 45 degree angle and like uses it to sort of pole dancing style, like swing on his spear um, with his leg but out. Does and does the spear break? <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we'll see if it's like the gif i sent earlier uh and he he's aiming to just kick her uh in the in the torso to like knock her backwards away from marika so she can't land her final stab yeah mm. yeah um so uh name uh blood and valor d10 my daring of d8 yeah. and i'm spending my a divine favor to use my pathos which is a d8 Cool. Remember, Ryan, everybody, you have oaths you can use to bring in, uh, give uh, other people lend you their strengths. Yeah. Um, or divine and, favor. Or divine favor. And I think, uh, Justice, you have a uh, god oath from Hera. Is that right? Or did you not? No, no nobody, nobody got one. Nobody, nobody won that. Yeah, yeah nobody Hera. won that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have that I broke the Pirate Queen's heart from last time, but I'm not using that. This is the wrong kind of situation for that. I don't uh, think she's, yeah. I mean, it's not that she's not looking at you, but she's not looking at you in that way right now. Uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 No, right. nothing to explode. Uh, this to seven. I think it also is your, your, your kick knocks her aside. Um, it, it, do, it does land. Um, and then the boat suddenly like shifts again and everybody uh, goes tumbling and um, uh, you end up hanging like from one foot uh, on the railing, like, and the water's like smacking you on the back. Uh, your spear still stuck in the shift and, and Marika, she, um, uh, the, the blow that she landed instead of going like right through your collarbone and pinning you instead, it just cuts mm -hmm. you right on the shoulder. And, you know, cause Adrastos kicked her right at the last moment, but uh, she, she, you know, leaves a, a nasty cut right across right across your shoulders as they open blow. And you both okay. you both take pathos. Okay. All right. All right. Uh so everybody kind of regroups and you have a chance to select to to uh um to um to to choose your actions again. And notably the ships start moving towards the island um uh you know the your ships are sort of weirdly now nested your your ship is still pl like plunged into hers uh, and the pillar of storm mm -hmm. seems powerful enough to just drive both ships um uh regardless and so now you're moving downwind and the ship sort of straightens again because you're going downwind and you're moving with really incredible speed back towards the island uh, mm -hmm. what actions do you want to take uh, before we do the next round, it's yeah. about time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So good call. Maybe we can do our short ad break and then yeah. our break break. Yeah, Ooh. nice. Um, I will. I'll switch you over to that now, Sean. So you can, you can do that. Here we go. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. Uh, this set, this episode of Actual Play has been sponsored by the Sorcerer's Catalog by. Uh, uh, the Sorcerer's Catalog is your resource for fantastic and esoteric everyday goods, that, such as clothes, stationery, bags, books, and, of course, games. This holiday season, don't miss out on the Pocket Dungeon Packs, system agnostic fantasy adventure modules packed with fabric maps, sin uh, sinister pencils, and more. Visit sorcererscatalog.shop for all your magical needs. And thank you, Shelcon, for supporting us. 
and that's all.